Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We are sitting here in front of my Helium 4s and I just wanted to quickly show you what it looks like to um, extract seeds from a seed pod. We have one that is ripe right here, so I'm going to move the camera a little. Now you can tell this is ripe, A, because it's swollen, so it's full of seeds. B, it's just starting to turn yellow and I can see a little crack in there where it has just split. So. These will be coming out in the next day or so if I do not get to them. So it's a perfect time as soon as you see that crack in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the whole pod itself. You know, it'll pop right off very easily. So, so well, on the other side, there's even a bigger crack. So we're getting to them just in time. Look at that crack. Anyways, let's go over to the table and see what the seeds look like. Okay, I moved it over to the table and I'm trying to work on white so you can see everything better. And we're just going to um, use some tweezers and open this by hand. We're going to dump it right out here. See what we come up with. So there's our first look at the Helium Forest Seeds. And there seems to be like two chambers to these pods. So you can always um, get a few more out of the other side. There we go, and that is all of them there, so not bad, looks like about an average amount, nothing too, too um, many, but um, I've had as little as three or four in there, and I've had probably a little bit more than that in pods before, but that's sort of what they look like. Now these pods, or these seeds, sorry, um, they do have sort of an up and a down. Now, let's see what's a good example, this one here. I'm trying to look through the camera and use this tiny pair of tweezers. These aren't very big. You can see how the endosperm is closer to the edge on this side than it is on the other side. The root is going to come out right here. So you, wouldn't, you don't want to plant that upside down. I just sort of lay them flat. Now slide this over. Here's an example of some seeds that are yet to germinate. I planted them about a week ago or sowed them about a week ago. And yeah, so they're just on a mainly sphagnum moss mix, a bit of perlite, a bit of orchid bark in there. And they haven't quite germinated for me yet. But I'll see if I can reach the other pot here. Sorry, I just walked across the greenhouse, but I'm back now. And here are a few that I um, sowed last winter, I guess. Now this is actually a compact. There's a Nepenthes jacqueline in here and, and Helium 4 minor. So that is what a germinated Helium 4 looks like with its first, first um, pitcher. And there's a couple that don't have their first pitchers yet. But I don't have many. I have one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of them. I didn't get a whole lot of seeds from them. But anyways, that's just a quick video on removing Heliumphora seed pods from the plant. I showed you what the seed pods actually look like, what the seeds look like, and just a quick general way to sow them, and then what they look like after they sprout. So I hope you like this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.